Hello, this is Sakamoto31, and this is my Chivalry Medieval Warfare Weapon Guide. Today, we'll be covering the first axe unlocked in the Man at Arms class, the Hatchet, cutting away another one. The Hatchet has been around longer than almost every weapon in the game of Chivalry, with the exception of the spear, hunting knife, and possibly the short bow. Developed in prehistory to serve as a basic tool for cutting wood, it was soon discovered as a killing weapon. During the Middle Ages, hatchets were common sights, as most peasant soldiers had one for everyday use at the home. Being relatively common and cheap, this weapon had even seen an adaptation into modern times as both a civilian tool and a military weapon. When using an LMB attack with your hatchet, you will do swing blunt damage. Against the archer, you will do 73 damage to the head, 59 to the body, and 47 to the legs. A maximum of 3 hits is required to kill the archer. When hacking at a man at arms, you will deal 65 damage to the head, 52 to the body, and 42 to the legs. A man at arms will die in the same number of hits as the archer. Against the vanguard, you will do 53 damage to the head, 42 to the torso, and arms, and 34 to the legs. There is not a significant drop-off in damage between the men-at-arms and vanguard classes. When against the knight, you will do 41 damage to the head, you will do 33 damage to the body, and you will do 26 damage to the legs. A maximum of 4 hits is required to take out a knight. The overhead attack sees slight damage increase over the LMB attack. Against the archer, you will do 79 damage to the head, 63 to the body, and 50 to the legs. This reduces the number of hits to kill to 2 hits. When up against the man at arms, you will do 70 damage to the head, 56 to the body, and 45 to the legs. When striking a vanguard, 57 damage will be done to a hit to the head, 46 damage from a blow to the body, and 36 from a leg strike. Against the knight, you will deal 44 damage to the head, 35 to the body, and 28 to the legs. The knight still requires 4 hits to kill at maximum health, and if all blows are to the legs. The stab with a hatchet deals blunt damage, meaning that little damage is done consistently across all classes. Against the archer, you will do 30 damage to the head, 24 to the body, and 19 to the legs. Against the man at arms, you will do 28 damage to the head, 23 to the torso and arms, and 18 to the legs. Again, blunt damage is very slight drop-offs, but consistent low damage. When put up against the vanguard, you will do 26 damage to the head, 21 to the body, and 17 to the legs. When stabbing a knight with your hatchet, you will do 23 damage to the head, 18 to the body, and 14 to the legs. Stabbing is not an effective tool against the knight. In fact, stabbing is not effective against any class and should only be used against enemies out of reach and ultimately very weak. It is the hatchet's consistent damage that inspired our loadout, one that prefers one versus one battles against weaker opponents rather than being in the thick of battle. For the primary slot, you will use the hatchet. The secondary slot doesn't matter as much in this class, as the hatchet is essentially a secondary weapon, with not much more reach than the short sword. Therefore, any secondary can be applied. I prefer the broad dagger for its speed. In the special slot, the throwing knives will provide you some range capability before you go after the stragglers of battle. Because we are not choosing a shield, we will maintain maximum mobility at a cost of some of our defensive capability. Successfully chase down your enemies, and you will ultimately be successful with the hatchet. That's our loadout, one that can strike hard and win one versus one battles. But like the hatchet against wood, prefers weaker enemies to be hunted down, as a hatchet prefers weaker sticks to be chopped in half. With this mobile weapon, keep your wits about you. Hold steadfast like a hardy woodsman, and fell even the tallest of trees.